Hey guys, it's Brian here and welcome to episode 79 of our Liverpool career mode series. In today's episode, we got three games for you, some important ones too. But before all that, sorry for the wait on this episode, we will get season 4 done before FIFA 14 comes around, before NHL 14 comes around too, and all that demo stuff. So there'll be a little bit of a fast-paced action with all the episodes that should be coming out in the next little while. I have to kind of gauge overall how many games we really have left in the season. Probably uh, not a massive amount, maybe 3 or 4 five episodes left in the season for us here but still that said I'll make sure to get all these out in uh, the next little while and we'll start uh, pumping them out a little bit quicker here as we get more amped up and ready for the uh, next iteration of both FIFA and NHL coming out in the future but we'll start off with a very important game here against Espanol as you know we faced them the first leg away from home had a very tight game against them wasn't able to pull out a goal there away from home but also kept them from scoring two which is good so Nil-nil was the leg, and uh, we went to the second leg here, hoping to get something going for us. And I felt pretty confident in this one. You know, they're a team that is pretty solid. I like some of their players. Uh, Kenwin Jones, the one player that was actually funny to see playing for Espanyol. You know, you, you get those uh, Premier League players that move on to another place every once in a while. And uh, it's pretty funny when you see that, especially when it's like a player like Kenwin Jones. You would not really expect to play for Espanyol, but in this case, he is playing for them. And you can see there we nearly had a chance, and they nearly had a chance too. That one was a blocked header there, not going our way. So the first half here is going to end nil-nil. And uh, like I said, very tense because, you know what? You go through a game, you don't score a goal, they don't score a goal. That's that's already tense enough as it is. You start pushing it even more like this. And you start to really worry if you can score number one. And if they score, if the shit's going to hit the fan in that case. But the second half here, we had a couple chances for ourselves. And uh, this one's going to come off Sterling as he's going to cut back in, have a bit of space. But I take the shot a little bit too early there. Unluckily, Suarez, I was hoping to get the rebound from him, but not able to do that. That one just curls wide. And the 80th minute here, we get one right to Suarez. A great chance, but he's not able to put that one into the net either. And uh, the second half of this game and the second half of this leg is going to go uh, scoreless as well. So we're going to have to go into extra time in this one here and uh, see how we can do with the real pressure put on us. And, um, you know... We talked about in the past, have done all right, I guess, if you want to say, in the Champions League. Moved on to the uh, knockout stages every time, but that issue is, you know, facing those sides, facing those tougher sides, it's come down to us. So I was really looking forward here, really looking forward to us having a win out of this one and continuing on to the round of 16. But as you can see here, they get a chance, really great opportunity. Luckily, they were able to make the slide that kind of blocks the shot from happening. And we're going to get a nice shot from Bender here that's going to go right into the back of the net. Lars Bender rarely scores goals for us, but when he does score goals just like that, they are very, very important to our cause. We go into the second half of extra time with a 1-0 lead, which is very important. But still, they get that uh, all-inclusive, all-elusive goal for them. Then uh, that's going to really hurt us as well because they'll have that away goal, which is going to knock us back. So going to the last 15 minutes here. The goal was to not let them score. You know, if we get a goal, that's awesome, but just not let them score was what I was really looking for here. And Asimo is going to get a chance here. Takes the shot. Big save, though, and uh, not able to get the rebound on that one either. But Asimo gets another opportunity here. That one's going to be blocked, though. And uh, we get actually the free kick off that one. You know what's going to happen. Suarez puts that away. A beautiful goal by him. And uh, very happy to uh, get that just absolutely fantastic free kick opportunity. And I did the little uh, replay there of the inside the net cam to show you that that one found the corner as close as possible instead of, uh, you know, hitting the bar or anything like that. So we're going to go up 2-0. And that's going to be safe enough for us here to get the win, the very important win. So we're going to move on to the round of 16 where I'm not sure who we're going to be playing, but it should be uh, a lot of fun. And hopefully we can keep on pushing on in uh, this last season of our Liverpool career. And, I mean... We're doing all right in the league, but the league and the Euro League are going to be our two main focuses going down the stretch here. And, I mean, we, we got FA Cup games. We lost the Capital One Cup opportunity that we had. But the main focus here is going to be moving on to those ones there. Actually, yeah, we're going to be playing against Chelsea. So, probably one of the hardest teams that is in the round of 16 we get matched up against, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but, you know what? If we knock them out then that's just one less team that we really have to deal with that's a very solid side. You know our history against uh, Chelsea as well has not always been the best history. So maybe, just maybe, we can kind of turn that around uh, going into our next leg there. But that's not in this episode. We've got that coming probably next episode. Maybe the episode after that. Depends on how long the break is between 
the round of 32 matchup in the round of 16. We'll move on here to a game in the league against Bolton. And uh, I was looking forward to this one because we've been playing a lot of different stuff lately. I, I'm, I haven't played actually the uh, FIFA career mode in a while because I kind of banked a couple of these episodes together to make sure that I had some uh, content to create. But with that said, I'm very excited to jump back into the league and see if we can push ourselves a little bit closer towards the top of the table as uh, Manchester City really kind of put you know their iron grasp, if you will, on that top spot. And um, I, I want to win the league. That's that's the goal here. We want to you know, do the best we can in the final uh, stages here, but also want to really push and test. And um, I know kind of looking back, it's funny. So I feel like season two wasn't that great of a season, yet we had the golden opportunity to win the league. And I can't believe that we actually, you know, let that slip by. That was a, a, a chance that was well wasted. And, you know, it, it kind of slipped on us too. Like, I felt like at the time that, you know, it was surprising that we're actually in the position that we could actually win the league at that point. Last season, you know, had the terrible start. But the season before, we were really, you know, pushing hard, getting the opportunities. And I thought that was the one that was probably our best season so far. Season one. Season two, I don't know, we had some slip ups. In season three, at the end of season three, we had a very solid season. But as you know, we did not win a game in season three to like the seventh game or something like that. So that was a struggle there. I guess actually, you know what? This has probably been our best season so far because we've, you know, done a solid job of kind of keeping our ambitions straight, keeping our opportunities, uh, you know, when we get them, trying to put them away and having that better team too that is a little bit more rounded so that, you know, hey, if we get an injury, because we've had a lot of injuries, that's probably the biggest problem that we've had in this season is that we've run into the defender injuries that we have had. Uh, luckily for us, though, we've been able to kind of, you know, soldier through that, and yes, we have drawn a good amount of games, but still, even with that said, we're doing very solid, and we're right in the chase there. The only unfortunate part is Manchester City are having a fantastic year as well, so we have to fight against them, and, uh, you know, hopefully that will work out for us going into these later episodes here. But yeah, we're going to get an opportunity here that just goes wide. I thought it was going to be the cutback that we really needed. But this game is tied and Mayuka is going to make the difference here. Is he's able to just work his way past the defender there. Great goal by him. He gets the crowd revved up for that one too. And uh, he hasn't been doing as much as he did at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I felt like when he was playing for us at the beginning of the season, it was crazy. He was getting all these goals and I was like, what's going on? This guy's the best thing ever. He's still been doing a good job, but we haven't really been... Uh, Relying on him as, as as much, you know, had Suarez doing a good job there. As you can see in Espanol game, he was able to uh, really make an impact in that one, get that late goal that we wanted, uh, that free kick goal, and it really helped us out there. And we're going to get the three points out of this game too, which is good, and you'll see where we're sitting in regards to our team and the standings going ahead into uh, next episode, at the end of this episode, but we'll move on to the last game that we got here for you guys in today's episode, and that is against Manchester City, and this one is in the league. Uh, or not the League Cup, but the uh, FA Cup, and we'll be seeing how we can do against them there. And that's the other thing, too, that we've had, I, I guess, you know, it, it does kind of equate over to the um, EuroLeague now where we're facing up against Chelsea, but I feel like we've had these shitty matchups so early on, and, um, you know, we've gone through some of them, but not all of them. I love when it, you get to play a team that's like in League One. You know, it's a nice little difference and change. You're playing a team that you don't normally get to play against, it's pretty easy, you can throw in some players that you don't normally do, and it usually turns out to be a pretty fun time. It was unfortunate, though, that we've faced so many teams I feel like are just the generic ones that we see so much of. Uh, yeah, so, you know, going into this one here, I think we're in the quarters of the FA Cup, but still, uh, you know, facing up probably against the best team in the league, if not maybe in the uh, whole of FIFA right now, we've just really um, had, had struggles, I guess, against uh, them and Chelsea. The most this season out of any team, but I was hoping to get a good game here, get a, you know, a good matchup, because it's also the barometer matchup too, right? You know, when you play a game like this, when you're facing up against a team that you know is this good, you're like, okay, this is a game that we're going to be going into where we know that they are better than us, maybe, or they are at least on par of us, so that if we can do the best we can, it's going to really kind of give us an idea of where we stand in regards to what our chances are of beating them or getting past them in the league. And uh, we had a very good matchup against them in the first, uh, I guess you could call it leg, because we are playing the replay here. The initial game was a good one that we had the lead on, and then, you know, they got the goal, tied the game up, and things got a little bit dicey later on in that game. But it was close, it was intense, and um, going to this one here at home, I was hoping to get an early goal again and kind of just try and sit on that as much as we could. You know, get those opportunities when we, you know, could strike every once in a while, but at the same time not really pushing the uh, parameters a little bit too much there. And here was a chance I thought, oh no, that was going to be a goal. 
Luckily, just out of the reach there of the player for Manchester City. And we'll move on to the second half here with a nil-nil draw. And uh, you're going to see from the stats here that this uh, was, you know, there was chances, but not that many for them. So we're really kind of limiting them to their opportunities, which is definitely good. We got some nice chances, but not anything that we could really put uh, away there, except for that Sterling chance. That was probably the one that we wanted to uh, get going there. Colby there with the chance. Able to cut through the defenders, but not able to get the actual shot on net. And here's the actual deadly strike that's going to come from Sergio Aguero. As the ball just kind of plops right to him there. He gets a nice goal. And uh, that's going to be the lead for Manchester City. And now we're going to have to work our way back. Here I get a little bit greedy with it. 34 yards away. I try and just, you know, see if I can finesse that in the corner. That's not going to happen there. And we get, you know, a couple more chances here. As we're trying, just trying. That one narrowly goes wide uh, to see if we can get a goal to tie this game up and, you know, push it to extra time like we did against Espanyol, but it's not going to happen in this game, unfortunately. We're going to drop out of the FA Cup and the League Cup, and uh, like I said, our focus now is on the Euro League and the League in general, and we'll see how we do in the last episodes of this series as we get ready for FIFA 14 coming in the future. Thank you all for watching. Um, continue to also send in your requests for what team you'd like to see for FIFA 14, as I'm going to be doing a PS3 series and a PS4 series. I want to get some ideas in there. And probably around the middle of August, that's the time that I will actually start posting up videos in regards to, okay, these are the final eight or whatever, and then we can really do a good voting process on those teams then. But yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in episode 80. Southampton won, West Bromwich Albion won. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Manchester City with 58 points. In second, Liverpool with 55 points. In third, Chelsea with 52 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Manchester United with 51 points. In fifth, Arsenal with 48 points. In sixth, Newcastle United with 44 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, Sunderland with 39 points. In eighth, Stoke City with 38 points. Bottom of the table, Leicester City with 8 points, with a game in hand on the team above. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Blackburn Rovers with 14 points. Third bottom, Wigan Athletic with 18 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fourth bottom, Queen's Park Rangers with 19 points. Fifth bottom, Norwich City with 23 points, 